Right, welcome back and back to you, Dr. Hermi. And we were speaking about uh, how grown has become the African Union, uh, the African countries, in order to voice why what they decide to do or, or that the, the foreign countries or foreign entities would deal with them as partners. Um, let me here uh, take how, um, how the world perceived the African states or the, the, the African continent un, at large and the way they should be dealing with the African continent before I go to this other important meeting the president has uh, has been attending. Uh, I think you know, what I, I believe in that if we are talking about projects and uh, we have to talk first about projects with each other in Africa. We have to, to do it together and then it will be tied together. The interest for, be, for every country will be uh, very important for each, each country in this mm. respect. Consolidating the African yes. countries cooperation. Cooperation, cooperation, and not only cooperation, but, uh, helping and each relations. other. No, involved in projects, mm -hmm. involved in investment together, involved in uh, doing factories, doing uh, uh, company, international companies, mm. all of this, like Europe. Europe, they are working together because uh, they are dealing also with international uh, investment. Good point. Here we have to open two important issues. The first is how Egypt has been keen on supporting its African brothers during the past period. We've seen some of the uh, support or, or the aid that went to Sudan, to South Sudan, to Tunisia, um, before to, of course, uh, other Arab countries and other African countries when at need. This is from one side. From the other side is how Egypt has been so much eager to, for an instance, uh, put into effect the free trade agreement. So how do you view the role of Egypt? First of all, we have to accept or we have to know that a lot of uh, uh, help in Africa we are doing like in Maulin al-Arab, like here and there for, for establishing uh, projects in this. And maybe we don't make a lot of uh, 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 high voice in this, but it is uh, Egypt is in Africa very well. Lazar is also in Africa, mm. and and the people from Africa they come to study in Lazar. Lazar send also some of his his uh, uh, people to educate them, to learn them, or to talk to them in Islam and in religion in this respect. Uh, all of this, I think, and now also we have uh, direct flight, uh, and it is an indication with South Africa. Uh, this means that you have to go fa uh, to go faster, and if you are if you want to invest here, uh, there, or here, yeah. then you have the possibility to uh, cross the continent in the, in this. All of this will uh, also Suez Canal and the open yeah. Suez Canal and uh, widening Suez Canal. It will help uh, Africa to pass by their uh, uh, for navigation uh, in this uh, in this, and it will save money and save time and uh, uh, will be very helpful. If you are, they are going from East Africa to Europe, they, it will be much better by passing in uh, Suez Canal. And you remember when this accident happened in uh, Suez Canal, how many uh, vessel or ship were standing by to pass the Suez Canal. This means that it is very important for mainly for Africa and also for uh, the Gulf also. Definitely, Suez Canal is very important and, the, and, and, and this navigation route is very important for the whole world. Uh, when we speak about inter-African relations, we also speak about a same future, a same destiny. So we were keen to um, to put into effect or to ratify this trade uh, free trade agreement among the African continent while we uh, were, while the president assumed the presidency of the African Union how far was that packed an important issue for putting African efforts all together or for starting to develop or take the African relations into another horizons 
I think uh, we have started already when the president was, our president was uh, the chairman of the uh, African Union also, and he has a lot of meetings with uh, most of the African countries. And they came here, and he then went to them, and he listened to them. This is presenting Egypt. And this is Egypt for a long time also mm. in taking care of the, of the countries, of the African countries. Uh, as I said, since uh, Abdel Nasser also was very uh, clear, because Africa, most of Africa was occupied. Mm. Uh, and we tried through the Egyptian uh, expert, I can say military also sometimes, to help uh, getting rid of the colonization. And still they are talking about Egypt in this respect in most of the African countries. Mm. Uh, and uh, That was. That was. Now, uh, now, now they... we are going uh, after that, as I <laughs> told you. As I told you that we are now working. If we, why did we, when did we go to Libya? Libya also is exactly. Africa. Exactly, and Libya is why another. Did, you, did we go? to Sudan. Sudan is not because our interests only, but it is part of Egypt. We are considered and it is uh, No, African. but we are we speaking about the very, very uh, national security or the, 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 the Western national security and the Southern national security of Egypt, not just be because we are brothers and, and that we have the same history and same destiny and all this, but also because this is our national security. We're speaking about Libya and Sudan. Okay, what can you say about Comessa? Comessa, it is part of, it is not uh, just we are brothers. It is our interest exactly. to work together. Also, the taxes will be less if you, we go to uh, Africa or uh, if they send to us, Comesa is supporting the trade all over the, uh, the Af all over Africa. And how many they use, we have to push uh, African uh, businessmen. Blocks. And all uh, those African blocs, the IGAD, the Comesa, the IAC, the, uh, uh, the SADC, all those blocs came together here in this, in the ratification of the free trade agreement that was signed here in Egypt. For this is, I'm, I'm stressing on that because it is, it could be a, 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 a point for the future, for not, uh, for, for putting, for uniting the African stance in order to be able to propagate for the whole Africa as a one unit. And this is why I am stressing on this uh, 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 free trade agreement that was signed among the, uh, yeah, the African states. Yeah, not be too optimist. Uh, one, unit, one, one, one state even, no one would, would consider because uh, if you go to uh, Europe, it is several states and several countries and they are cooperating together. But, but they I, have I, the I, same stance, yeah, but a united stance towards matters. Yeah. And this is why they, when they always, always get together for giving an end result or their response towards any matter? Uh, as I am professor of international law and international organization, I would like to let you know that AU is one of the most uh, strong uh, regional uh, organization in the world more than a lot of uh, yes. international uh, organization or mm. regional international organization. And if they are so, they, con uh, they agreed on something uh, before the United Nations, they stuck to it and they, they presented mm. and uh, they support each other in this. Uh, but uh, we, I need that th we are working together not being one country or one uh, behavior because we are different and to respect the differences uh, to support the progress of this continent which is very much virgin for a lot of things like what we were saying about it and uh, about uh, the resources also yes. sources and manpower and all of this it is very important and uh, we have to use it uh, and cooperation we have to use it uh, and we are facing a lot of uh, uh, ideas against the, uh, all the content from Europe, from the States, from here and there. Mm. We have to work together 
uh, in this. And I, I believe Mrs. Nineveen Gamma will, be not, will not be the last. But we have to send ministers, we have to send the teams, we have to send uh, to make cooperation uh, with, the, with, with the African the, the countries also in this. And it will happen. Hannah Zaid, Dr. Hannah Zaid was in South uh, Sudan. Hannah Zaid, she the... was in uh, South uh, Sudan. Yes. And South Sudan yes. is very, very dangerous, but she went. Yes. And, uh, and when you send, it is not just a person, but you send the Minister of uh, Health. Uh, this is also, we are, it is not we are, we want because of S uh, for Ethiopia or Addis Ababa or mm. this is it. No, it was part of extending our service to Africa. Speaking about extending our service to Africa, and uh, Egypt has been keen to attend this important summit in France on Sudan, in supporting Sudan in its transitional uh, uh, period. Egypt has also been um, participating in many African mini African uh, summits concerning uh, the issue of the coronavirus and how to tackle this uh, issue and the vaccination and all this stuff. Also, we have extended uh, our hands to, as you said, respectively here, Libya, Sudan in its transition point, uh, transition period, the same issue with Libya. How far was Egypt of or, or an accepted uh, uh, um, party to countries in such critical times um, an accepted face for Libyans for Sudanese for Sudanese for uh, 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 the supporting the Tunisian uh, the Tunisians we've just received the Tunisian Djibouti. president view. yes indeed Djibouti the first yeah. ever uh, visit by a president and Egyptian president how far is Egypt an acceptable face now in the African continent? Uh, I, th I think uh, Egypt made a lot of offer and, uh, and the start uh, yeah. to achieve w what you have rightly said, uh, to uh, make our relations tight and to make the, and give the example for other countries yeah. in Africa to tie the, their relation together by visiting, by meeting, by here and there, and not only just a summit or a conference and then we say uh, hello and goodbye for this. No, we have to, to, to prepare uh, agenda for mm -hmm. meetings and to achieve the interest of, uh, of the continent, not only the interest of one or two or three uh, country in uh, in Africa, uh, and and I think now with also uh, uh, electronics development and Zoom and all of these things, I think we will make more attachment uh, between. But we have to plan. We have to plan and to to give. Why we are doing this? Because it is the interest of us all. Mm -hmm. And if we feel us all, then we will, we, will, we will do it. And we started to do it. And a lot of uh, companies are working in uh, Africa. Initiatives also yes. were, were, yes. were put into effect. We're speaking here about, for an instant, just last week, Minister of Immigration, Nabila Mokram, launched under the uh, auspices of President Sisi Egypt's, Egypt's voice in Africa, this very... Uh, initiative to enhance Egypt's uh, role in the continent. Also, there was the 100 million um, um, life, healthy life initiative that was extended to Africa. Also, there were other initiatives to support the, uh, the infrastructure inside Africa at large. How far is, uh, or why do you think Egypt is doing that? Why do you think Egypt is extending its hands to Africa? Why do we all need to understand how we are keen on serving our brothers? Yeah, we, uh, if we are speaking frankly, can we? Uh, of course. We are not attracting Africa, Africans to come here. How many tourism company work to get Africans to have their holidays in Egypt, to see Sharm el-Sheikh, to see here and there. 
I don't think that we are doing uh, our effort enough to, uh, to attract them, to let you, they come. The, we, Comesa, we are using it, but we didn't invite them to use it with us. We have to do more. I am very happy about the, the visit of uh, Mrs. Nevin Gang. And it has to be followed. The investment. Where is the Minister of Investment? Where is the Minister of... Uh, they were all there in Sharm el-Sheikh in 2018, the Africa 2018 summit that took place. It was all about Africa in 2019 when we were speaking about Africa uh, or, or, or uh, EU LAS uh, and also with the participation of African uh, um, uh, countries. They were also very much existing during the period of Egypt's presidency to the African Union, but now what they need what they do need is what's important. And uh, excuse me for this, but one word, uh, it would be a small word. Please, than this. please. Uh, we have to know that what happened yesterday or before yesterday in the uh, uh, Council, uh, Security Council, mm. is not something against Egypt or against uh, Africa. Mm. No, they have, to, because we went in uh, the organization for peace, and they said, you have to continue peace but yes. not fighting or doing this, this, we have to, uh, I pass this, we have to uh, go to attract yes. Africans to come to make business here also. Indeed. And Indeed. some of them are very rich. Yes, of course, of course. Africa is all rich. Dr. Nabil Hamid, International Director, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much. Dear viewers, many thanks for watching. Tomorrow will be another important debate with another colleague. Good night.